can a complete beginner to drop servicing start a drop servicing business and make a thousand dollars in the time span of one or two weeks in this video series on my channel we are going to figure out just that welcome back to the zero to a thousand dollar drop servicing challenge this is episode two and in episode one we did our research on fiverr and chose our service that we're going to resell so in today's episode we are going to be building our sales funnel and we're going to be using a software called kartra and i've never built a sales funnel before so i'm a little bit nervous to start this process because i think that this is going to be the hardest part in the process of starting this drop servicing business Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know me already, hello, my name is Meg and on my channel, I make videos testing out different online business ideas as well as different side hustle ideas, basically just non-traditional ways of making money. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I mean, while you're at it, you might as well give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It helps out a lot more than you know. I'm almost at the point where I can monetize my channel. I literally have like 500 more watch hours and I'm super excited because once I start making money from making these YouTube videos, you know that it's going to be reinvested into making these videos and I can do more online business challenges. So without further ado, I want to get right into this. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick recap of the drop servicing business model. I feel like it's going to take me a long time to build this sales funnel. So I don't want to waste too much time just rambling on about different things. I did get a haircut though yesterday, so I'm super excited. I'm going to the beach soon. So for those of you that don't know what drop servicing is, I did a tutorial on it a few videos ago so it'll be up here in a card if you guys want to check that out i recommend checking out that video because i go more in depth than i'm going to go in this video just explaining how the drop servicing business model works but i will give you guys a quick rundown in this video just so you have an idea for those of you that don't know what drop servicing is it's basically like the same concept as drop shipping but instead of selling physical products we are selling services so basically we are fulfilling these services by going to a freelance web website such as Fiverr, getting the service done for a cheaper amount than we have listed on our online store. In the last episode, we chose our service that we we're going to be offering on our website and that service is infographic design. And last night I did have a lot of trouble coming up with a good business name for an infographic design service business, but eventually I came up with InfoShop and I got that idea from like Photoshop, InfoShop, like infographic design, Photoshop, get it, in Photoshop. All right, so if you guys want to sign up for Kartra and do this challenge along with me, there'll be a $1 14 day trial in the link in the description. If you guys want to help support the channel, it will be an affiliate link. Thank you for purchasing and welcome to Kartra. I'm AJ Roberts and in this quick video, I'm gonna go over how to succeed with Katra. Katra is designed to help you grow and scale your online business. Yo, what's up everybody? I'm back once again. I didn't get very far building the sales funnel last night because I had to go to work. I actually didn't really get very far at all. So I'm going to pick up where I left off and hopefully this doesn't take me too long to do today. Basically all I got done with this yesterday is setting up my account. First thing, Kartra works a little bit differently than like building an online store with Shopify. So what we're going to do first is we're going to set up the products, which is the Fiverr listing that we're reselling our infographic design. And then we are going to do the thank you page and then we are going to do the main sales page. So we're kind of working backwards. I'm going to to work on this product first. So the product's internal name is Infographic Design. Okay, I'm also going to go on the Fiverr listing that I'm basing my product off of. The basic package is $10. I don't wanna list it for too cheap. I feel like maybe 75. Price number two is also going to be a one-time payment and we're going to call this standard package. I don't know, should I come up with like a better name? Okay, so price description for our third price is going to be the premium option. And that one is $50 on Fiverr. Okay, so shipping cost, this is not a physical product. I wouldn't say it's a digital product either. So we're just going to save that and keep it the way it is. We are going to offer the 30 day money back guarantee and click save and next. Okay, so now we are on pages. This step will be configured configured later. Okay, so we're gonna work on our thank you page. I need to make it something infographic-y. 
Okay, never mind. I think on our thank you page, we are going to want to get more information about what they want on their infographic. So we are going to have to create a form that we're going to put on our thank you page, but we have to do the form first. So I'm going to create this form for our thank you page that's going to get the information that we need from our customer in order to send to the Fiverr seller, which is basically just going to include what they want on their infographic, what it's about, like just some simple things. <music> purchased the Fiverr listing from the seller that I plan on using. I think it was 10 or $11. I just went with the basic package. The seller needs the following information to start working on the order. Number one, what is the size requirement? And number two, please upload your precise points in a Word document. So I basically created a form asking the same questions along with the usual information like the name of our customer and their email address and stuff like that. And now I'm going to create a thank you page. So I'm going to come over to components and and scroll down to opt-in fields. And I think I'm just gonna go with this one. All right, let's select our thank you page, opt-in form and apply. All right, that looks good. <music> So I think I'm done with this. All right, so I might come back and do like the stylistic stuff later. I just wanna make sure everything's set up because I know that this is already gonna take me forever. So I'm not going to worry about like customizing the colors and like the fonts for now. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the main sales page of our sales funnel. So come back to my pages and I'm going to click this create new page button. Okay, so now I'm gonna choose another template. I'm gonna go with one of the long sales page templates. I think this could work. All right, I'm just gonna go with this one. <music> So what do I want to keep? What do I want to delete? Let's start with this title and let's just write some sort of headline like... <music> guys, what's up? I'm back. This Kartra sales funnel took me a lot longer than I was expecting it to. So I want to show you guys how it looks at the moment. I might make some additional changes. It's pretty much done. Well, I still have to buy a domain for InfoShop, but I did do a logo and I did do the main page and I'm pretty sure like all my pages are done. So I just want to show you guys what the main page finally looks like because I'm finally done customizing it and I'm sorry that I didn't record the entire process. This is what it looks like. This is InfoShop. This is the main sales funnel page, the number one infographic design agency. Get started if you click that. It takes you down to the packages. Ooh, I forgot to edit those icons and the stars. Whoops. I have some mock-ups here with the infographics on like a tablet. These are all examples that I downloaded from the Fiverr listing. Just some key points that I decided to include, like why you should go with us. This is another example that I found on the Fiverr listing and I put it on this laptop mock-up. And then I have a little who we are. This was all on the Fiverr listing. These are examples of recent work. Okay, and then move on to testimonials. I copied and pasted the reviews from the Fiverr listing. Okay, so after the testimonials, testimonials. Scroll down and here are the packages. I have the starter, perfect for beginners, and then just some basic information from the Fiverr listing. Premium, that's the standard, and then top notch, which is the premium on the Fiverr listing, and they're all different price points. So the starter is $75, premium is $125, and then top notch is uh, $300. Then you come down here to the 100% money back guarantee. The funnel is finished. I just have to get a domain and um, I am going to wrap up this video. I've literally been sitting here for like the past, it's almost 8 p.m. I think I started this at like 
3 p.m. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you got some value from it. In the next video, we will be setting up our Google Ads campaign and starting to run Google AdWords. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already and hit the bell so that you're notified when I post the next episode in this challenge. And until then, peace out. <laughs>